sign into YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. Now enjoy the Cine Talk with the one and only Cine Bros. What's up, Cinemaniacs? We are back. We are back. And this time we are back with Cine Talk episode number 28, the first episode after we have seen Star Wars The Force Awakens. And what is Cine Talk? Cine Talk is a show where we get together and have movie lovers, female, male, doesn't matter. We just get together and talk movies. Movies. That's, that's it. right, baby. Movies. And who is the guy today? On the panel of the co-host, the co-host with the most, Sir Chadwick, the C, the C Diz, yep, the Chad, the Chad, uh, is here Chadwick. today. Yeah, you can. How you doing? Good. How Good. many times have you seen Star Wars so far? The new one? Yeah, we're filming on Sunday, so this yeah. is this is the weekend is still here. Yeah, I saw it Thursday and Friday, so twice. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Are you gonna see it again? Yes, I will. Yeah. How yeah. many more times do you think you'll see it before the new year? In the theater? Yeah. Probably two more times. Before before the new year. Before the new year, yes. Yeah. I'm going to see it at least once more. Well, I, before I, the new year, maybe not not twice. I'm going to try and see it in an IMAX next week. I'm, I'm going maybe to the, Tuesday. the, the Providence the, IMAX Wednesday. to see it. Yeah? Yeah. You're going to go to you're going to go to Providence and make the trip? Yeah. 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 I know you were ex really excited about mm -hmm. going to see it there, so. Yeah. All right. Um so what we're speaking of Star Wars, yeah. We're going to dive right into box office recap that we do and I will read off the top 5 at the box office. Um, and uh, surprise, big surprise here, finishing in the number one spot. Sisters. <laughs> no. No, not ah. sisters. No, not sisters. Um, Star Wars The Force Awakens, uh, with the early weekend estimates, finishing at $250 million, demolishing Jurassic World, mm. who just broke the record yeah. earlier this week. I mean, earlier this week, earlier this year. Yeah, this year. Um, yeah. Broke the record with $208 million. Now, Star Wars. Early estimates, I think it's still going to push up higher. Yeah, I think it's going to go a little bit higher. Um, finishing at $250 million. Mm -hmm. And wh what, is that, what does that leave everybody as far as the, uh, the fundraising oh, yeah, yeah, bet yeah, yeah. that we, we did? Just talking so, about that earlier. Yeah. Uh, right now, it looks like uh, Brian, our, uh, our other co-host, yeah. uh, he, he's at 277.77. Okay, that's 27 mil away. And, uh, and Brandon Blaine, our other co-host, is at 234.44. Ooh. So it's like dead 16, center like yeah. right now. It might come down to like point yeah. something. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. Because I, I think it's going to go higher than 250. I think it's yeah, still going to creep it, up higher. I, I think Brian's looking pretty good. What's bad is my my guess was right above Brian's. Mm -hmm. I was at 287. I don't think it's going to get to 280. No. It's going to get to 284. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to get that I high. might go see it a couple more thousand times just to push that number up <laughs> a little You're going to leave here and just go in rotation <laughs> one after another after another. I'm just, just going to buy theaters out until then. <laughs> So I can win my twenty dollar bet. I gotta spend like five hundred million dollars <laughs> to win my twenty dollar bet. <laughs> um, all right. So yeah, as far as everything else, Alvin and the Chipmunks finished in the second spot, fourteen point five. Yeah. I'm sure that's just a bunch of you know Star Wars haters that had kids that wanted to go see. Well, it. I'm not necessarily Star Wars <laughs> haters. Uh, Who's not gonna take their kids to go see Star Wars? Oh, I'm not gonna take my my nine or eight year old to go see. I'm gonna go see. I took my seven Alvin. year old. Well, I mean, that's you. And he and his and his buddy, his his best friend, mm -hmm. we all went. Yeah. And they both loved it. They were like jumping around in their okay. seats the whole time. I got my nephew. He's four. I was, I was going to take him to Alvin and the Chipmunks this week. Don't do it. No, I am. It's a horrible, horrible, horrible. He's a little kid, man. He likes all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he likes little chipmunks running around on the screen. You think so? Yeah, he loved the first two. He probably likes fart jokes and stuff. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's related to me for one. I laugh at everything, a, a fart joke, a burp joke, whatever. I mean, it's all the same. Well, Alvin and the Chipmunks finished in the second slot. Sisters, mm -hmm. which I'm surprised didn't finish in the second slot, finished at 14.3. It could. It I mean, could. these are early it, estimates. Yeah, these are, these are real close, too. Uh, the Hunger, J Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 finished at 5.5. .5. And The Good Dinosaur, still hanging on Man. by a thread at 5.1. Uh, nothing really surprising here. Yeah, no. I wouldn't say anything surprising at all as far as the box office numbers go. I mean, the big, the big deal here is Star Wars: The Force Awakens. I just I feel mean, bad for every other movie in the movie theater right now. Oh yeah, I mean, this is this is going to be dominant for the next probably four or five six S weeks. Sisters could have done a lot better if it opened up. 
maybe a week or two earlier. Like, yeah. Not later because obviously you're gonna it's be good running counter into programming, the... but it's not. It's not what. It's not it's, the kind of. This is just a bad time for not, any movie to open. Star Wars is so appealable to everybody that there's no counter to Star Wars. Really, I mean, yeah. as I mean, no spoilers or anything, but it's just it was a great movie. Yeah. It's yeah. plain and simple. It was it was movie. a phenomenal movie. It did yeah. such a great job. These mm-hmm. numbers are insane. Yeah. I'm happy and for it, you know. They did such a great job like just marketing the movie, mm-hmm. keeping secrets about the movie, mm-hmm. all while making an amazingly entertaining we'll, film. We'll definitely so. have more about this tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to be doing a, we're doing a full spoilers with Douglas. Yeah, uh, Doug's going to be here. Doug's going to be Doug. here and I think Brandon's going to be here, right? Or maybe uh, Brandon, there's a chance. Okay. We're, we're still not 100% sure, but we're hoping to get him. We're going to do a full spoilers kind of review and just talk about the movie. Very in depth we're going to go way into all the spoilers of that because there are some serious secrets mm. that they kept and they did a really good job yep. with so we're going to be talking about that tomorrow mm-hmm. and we also filmed a little uh our our voyage to see the voyage yeah star trek uh star trek star wars star trek. um uh, i don't know if we're going to be doing one for star trek no, i think our <laughs> next big one is deadpool deadpool is going to be the next big one we yeah, have uh, suicide squad yeah. a bunch of movies next yeah. year that we'll probably do something very similar yeah. to um, but yeah, th- th- this one was it's doing pretty well too. We got some good views on it. Mm-hmm. I think it's over 300 now, yeah, and approaching less than four. 12 hours, probably, maybe. Yeah. Well, a uh, little bit over 12 hours. My brother did the editing. He, mm-hmm. he came up and did a really nice little ent- yeah. intro to the whole. I was very impressed with it. Yeah, it was good. He did a good job. Yeah. yeah we, uh, as well as the trailer that you just saw for the first time. Yeah. The Cinetalk trailer yeah, that's going to be coming out. out We're going to hopefully de- debuting it. Uh, the Monday uh, after our next show. So mm-hmm. this this show right here will come out probably Sunday night, maybe Monday morning. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we're doing the spoiler show Monday morning. And then our next full real Cinetalk show. So that would be episode 29. It will be coming out. Hopefully, we're going to keep our fingers crossed that we'll get everything done. And it'll be out that. For New Year. Yeah. For the New Year. For the, new, the year. new Year. And right, we'll have it out. And uh, hopefully, you know, it, it, it it's looks It's really good. good. Yeah. It's really good. I, you saw yeah. it for the first time. I, I talked the, about it a few times I was times blown before. away. Yeah. I was, and then how, how well he did. It's amazing. He did a really good job making us kind of look good. <laughs> it, it gets, yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah. My uh, son's in it. My dog's in it. Yeah. We got a bunch of a bunch of little cameos. I mean, we look Easter natural eggs. in it, man. We look like we're like seasoned and vets in it like the way that we we're we're in focused it. we're ready for yeah, the we're show ready, dude. we're ready to get this going um brian brian yeah <laughs> kills it <laughs> he's the star of the show right there you think so yeah, yeah. oh that oh yeah hell he's yeah. setting everything up <laughs> getting this going yeah. no the real star is your son in that one he was phenomenal in it he, he looked good yeah he looked good in that it. was yeah. like so cool just to have him in there yeah when well, the first time i saw it when i saw my son in there i like i got goosebumps i was like oh that's my son. That's my son. He's a movie star. This is great. My parents uh, are gonna be so proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are gonna move on to the first segment, and the first segment up is new news. And our first topic in this first segment is kind of uh, on the but first let me take a selfie side of it. And it's a first official photo of Ghostbusters, uh, the new reboot that's going to be coming out that was released last week. And what are your thoughts, Sir Chadwick, on this photo? I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I, I, we talked about this earlier, maybe you know, maybe a couple episodes ago, whatever it was. And um, I was kind of on the fence with it and the whole girl perspective of it and... Yeah, I'm getting into it now that now that I'm seeing a little bit more, you know, photos of it and they they look good. I mean, it looks like it's going to be a good movie. I mean, I can't wait to see a trailer. I'm waiting for it. Yeah, I mean, for me, this isn't Star Wars, so I don't really know what to say. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Here no, we go. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I really like the photo. I think it was really good. They look serious. They mm-hmm. look staged. Yep. But it looks very good. Yeah. Um, and I'm looking forward to, you know, seeing the first footage from this movie. It doesn't really get me super excited about yeah. the movie, but it was a good photo. Yeah. It looked good. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's pretty much all I can really say about it. But the cast is amazing. So yeah. I'm looking forward to this actual first footage that we get because we're I mean, we're probably going to get our first trailer sometime in the next month or two. Oh, yeah. Um, it'll be coming out. I mean, usually the first photo, like the first real official photos, usually get released and then we see a trailer within a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. But that's for big blockbusters. I don't know how much money they're throwing into this. So yeah. hopefully 
hopefully we're, we'll get something soon because I really want to see the tone that they're going to take. I want to see how goofy or how serious they're going to be. If they're going to play it like serious and funny, um, which I hope that's the way that they go. Yeah. Um, kind of like the originals. They have some great, you know, just one liners and all that mm. kind of stuff. Um, but uh it's gonna. They have they have big shoes to fill. Yeah, so, real big and shoes. And I, I have a feeling with this cast, the I have a feeling that they're gonna do a pretty good job. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens uh, with all that. But yeah. now let's get back to Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Uh, kind of. Yeah, a little um, bit. Yeah. On the heels of Star Wars: yeah, The Force go, Awakens, yeah. uh, Spaceball Two has had a bit more steam built up, and mm. an old rumor that has resurfaced. And the rumor is that the working title is for for Spaceballs 2 is Spaceballs 2 the search for more money. Um, do you like this name? And uh, what are your thoughts? I mean, we talked about this a few months ago. Yeah, when we first um, got wind of it. When we first got wind of it. But now that it's a little more relevant again because mm-hmm. of the whole situation with Star Wars coming out, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts now? I, are you excited I, for this? I just I mean, the whole thing that that goes along in my head on this one is uh are they, is he going to attack the, 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 the prequels? I mean, they've already attacked themselves. I mean, mm-hmm. really. I mean, you can't really make fun of those movies, I don't think. I, I mean, I you can you can obviously very I much think, so make fun of them. I just, it, it's been beaten to death. And I think that the prequels are something that's, they're beaten down too much. Like, mm. they are actually not bad movies. They're not great. They are not the original Star Wars, you know, you can't love, you can love them, but I don't think there's just as the story and everything like that. It doesn't flow as well, mm. but there are moments in those movies yeah. that are so good, so damn good. Mm. And uh, Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan, he kills it as Obi-Wan throughout the whole, st- the whole franchise, yep. the whole, th- the whole trilogy. Mm-hmm. And I would love to see them kind of attack that a little bit because you can make fun of Jar Jar. Yeah. They have to have a Jar Jar. Get, get rid of Barf because obviously we don't have uh, they, John Candy that anymore. Was, that's and my whole introduce other... a, a Jar Jar kind of character. That would be phenomenal. Oof, that might be wrong. That would be no. It'd be great to it make might fun be, of. It though. might be good. Yeah, yeah. And you never know. I mean, it's Mel. It's it's Mel Brooks. So I, I'm pretty much anything that he he does. I'm gonna. Oh, watch. I'm, I'm so. I mean, th- for me, th- I mean, this is. Spaceballs. I've been wanting a Spaceballs movies, and as the years go on, I am pining less and less for this mm-hmm. um, because it's just it's it's losing steam for me. Yeah. Um, as far as the the title and everything, I think it's a great title. Yeah, it is. But yeah. I think they're missing out on an even better title. Yeah. Spaceballs two, the Schwartz Awakens. Like, come on, why not? You gotta you gotta throw the Schwartz in there. <laughs> Come on, the Schwartz Awakens. I think I like this one better. No way. Yeah, I like this one better. They are, they are missing out on it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a tough. That's one. gonna be like a blatant spoof. That's no, a yeah, blatant it is. Spoof yeah. title. Like, I mean, the search for more money is obviously that you know. That's also very. Everybody knows that they are making these movies to make a shitload of money. Yeah. And they are succeeding in that. Exactly. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um. So we'll, we'll see. We'll no. see. Uh, I mean, although. Spaceballs one didn't really make a bunch of money. It was actually a flop financially. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the theaters it was. Yeah. <laughs> but it has built up quite the cult following. Yeah, so yeah, very much. So, uh, yeah. And rightfully so because the movie's amazing. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, we're gonna move on. We're going on. We're Back moving on to, to a different. We're going real Star Wars. Oh, now. Okay, okay, all right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> With the opening weekend estimates in, what do you think Star Wars will, The Force Awakens will end up on the all-time world box office list? I'll start off. It's not going to stop breaking records anytime soon. Avatar is going down. This is a juggernaut, and it's going to topple it. Um, it, it the Blue Man Group biopic, which is Avatar, is <laughs> not going to stop it. I, I have a feeling that um, it is going to break this record, the, the worldwide record, and it is going to break it by a decent amount because Avatar never did – 200 million dollars opening it, it started off like 80 million and the second week it actually improved yeah. and went to like 100 i don't think you're going to see star wars next weekend break 250 million but it's still going to do 180 yeah i mean it's going to make a shitload of money and every day during this week it's there's there's a holiday season coming out i mean i bet you it does good numbers on christmas yeah they're sold out i mean most of the theaters are sold out i mean already. it is going to make so much money and even Avatar's effects are not as good as the special and practical effects mm. that we got. And those were amazing effects, visuals. 
they are not even as good as what we got for Star Wars. Th that movie visually is stunning. Mm -hmm. And I, I just can't see The Force Awakens not breaking almost every record there is as far as box office goes. Yeah. Are, you, are you in agreement? I, I pretty much agree with you. I mean, uh, they, they were saying that the most of their pre-sales were for Thursday, the opening night of Thursday. And, yeah, with uh, Christmas, Christmas, $57 million. And, and Christmas and Christmas Eve are pretty much sold out. I mean, it's not stopping. No. It's not stopping. Uh, it might slow down a little bit for a couple of days for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Nope. Watch out, Avatar. Yeah, I mean this this movie, and it's gonna have legs. I mean, it's already done it just in its opening, like f from Thursday, Friday. Those kind of totals brought together. It already made worldwide two hundred and fifty million dollars. Yeah. That's in one day. Hmm. One freaking day, two hundred and fifty million dollars. You're gonna be, and it hasn't even opened in China yet. You're you're gonna be able to go to the movie theaters in February and see this movie. Oh, oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it, and it'll be on like one or two screens. Yeah, <laughs> it's not gonna until Deadpool comes out. And Deadpool is gonna. I think Deadpool might be the movie that kind of takes it down a notch. Oh well, I mean, it, it's not Deadpool is gonna Deadpool or Zoolander will win that weekend. Yeah, it's not gonna. It won't still be, in, but it'll still be making twenty. Million dollars, yeah, 15, it was still be, million dollars. Yeah. It's gonna do that for a long. It's gonna be time. making more money than most movies make on their opening opening night, like uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks and Sisters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <it> might, <laughs> <laughs> three months from now, it's still making that kind of money. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's gonna be unbelievable. So, and continuing with with Star Wars. Oh, we're, we're gonna talk about we're more. We're gonna talk Wars. a little bit more. Yes, a little bit more <laughs> Star Wars. We're only three hundred sixty two days away until Rogue One. Oh boy, <laughs> let the speculation begin. <laughs> Uh, so it's a prequel. I mean, yeah. what are your now that you're fully immersed in this pre in this series mm -hmm. in in Star Wars? What are your feelings about the prequel? This prequel that's going to be happening. I th I think it's going to I I think it's going to do good numbers, but it's not going to do these numbers because it's not a Star Wars movie. Mm -hmm. It's not that that official Star Wars kind of movie. I mean, you know what you know what the plot is about. Yeah, right? I know. I I, I kind of know what the plot's going to be about. Mm -hmm. um, do people want to go back again? That's the big question. Oh, I they've already taken that trip it, back, and it's not going to do the numbers that the four. No, none of the Star Wars movies from here on out, I don't think, will do these numbers because we've been thirsting for uh, the Star Wars to come out for so long. Now we're getting a Star Wars movie every year until they're just financially not able to keep producing that kind of big blockbuster quality and still make money. Um, we're going to be keep getting these movies, and I am really excited because we got a new actress daisy ridley who mm -hmm. is a really Amazing. talented actress yeah. first this is her first like imdb credit yeah, yeah. she is a star now mm -hmm. and we also are getting an actress who's already built up quite the bit of a resume felicity jones who's mm -hmm. going to kind of be the lead in rogue one um and it's about rebels kind of stealing the plans for death star mm -hmm. and this is going to be kind of before the a new hope yeah. so that you're going to get you might be able, you might get to see a boba fett in this movie mm -hmm. you might get to see a young han solo we don't know exactly what we're going to get but i am really looking forward to it and i i think it could be a really cool story to try and see how these rebels get these plans because that is how they succeeded in the first movie spoiler alert mm. <laughs> a new hope that came out in 19 what 77 or something yeah um, but yeah, I mean, strong ass women taking over yeah, this, I'm this all franchise. It. It's great, and yeah. I, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, and Felicity Jones is a talented actress, mm -hmm. so I'm really looking to see what she gives us in this. Yeah. I mean, from the, from the talks, it's going to be one of those. Uh, from what I read, it's going to be one of those all star casts. Like they're gonna, it's they said almost like Ocean's Eleven. Kind of. I, I don't know if they're going to go that route, but they, I mean, Matt Nicholson's going to be in it. It I mean, might not be as popular as those guys, they're, but they're it's not a be, bunch of A-listers, but they are good actors, B, good, B, good actors and yeah. actresses, which which will be good. I mean, I, I'm looking forward to the movie. I think that they kind of have to have some more reputable names hmm. um, to to promote like a prequel type movie, something that's a little less known. This isn't this is Rogue One, a Star Wars story kind yeah. of. It's not Star Wars you know rogue one yeah. so they're gonna have to do a little marketing and have some a few bigger names and stuff like that in there to kind of really kind of get this out there but i mean that movie's gonna make bank too yeah. i'm not i'm not that excited about it but you're not i think you yeah. will as we, as we get our first footage which will probably come out in about maybe four three or four months um I think you'll start getting excited because yeah. I think the story, I think the story, we're going to get more character driven piece and the story is going to be good. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit more developed than 
the story that we're getting. That we JJ's, got. JJ's not coming back for that one, right? No. They no. already signed on a director, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, they did. I, I can't remember yeah, the, I can't the remember director off the top either. of my head right now, but they, they have the director for that. Uh, JJ Abrams isn't directing the next Star Wars movie. Mm. Um, I think that's Ryan Johnson, I think that who might be directing that. Why wouldn't they bring back JJ? JJ just he's gonna stand on he's gonna stay on for all the movies. He's gonna kinda be one of the producers and he'll be kind of the one of the people that they talk to. But um yeah, he's not he's not directing the next one. I don't like that move. I, you you can't. I mean, whatever. I I think I, I know, think uh, yeah, I think you need somebody who's going to be able to do get these characters and develop them better. He that's one of the things that I don't think that JJ did well in the Star Wars movie. <laughs> we'll I, talk about the Star. Nah, that is that's not a spoiler. <laughs> I just don't think he. That's what I said in my review. Um, not a spoiler. I just don't think he developed the characters well enough because he couldn't really because it's thirty years of story, so it's tough. But. I think that that's one of the things that with our next director we will get. I think we will get more develop more developed characters. Like you're going to get more more information on Ray, get more information on Kylo Ren. You're going to get more information which will help I don't, tell the story. We're going to talk forward. about this tomorrow. All right. <laughs> All right we are on. going to move on to the next segment and the next segment is in or out of the movie trailer park. And speaking of trailers, just to mention this again, we have our trailer, which is going to be coming out in just a couple, uh, about, what, about seven, eight days. Mm -hmm. In about eight days, we're hopefully going to debut this. So uh, fingers crossed, again, fingers crossed that we can deb debut that uh, on the next show. I'm hoping to do show Brandon the actual finished product live. Yeah. My brother's going to come up and hopefully we're going to have everything finished next Sunday mm -hmm. and we're going to get everything done. And then after we'll do it, I'll let you guys know as soon as the, the show gets up and we are going to be throwing that trailer out. Maybe we'll do a little discussion about that as well. Maybe. Maybe me and Brandon will sit here and talk about the trailer, what we liked, what we didn't like. I like that idea. Break it down a little bit. I like that. Maybe that'll be a, one of the trailers that we discuss. I like that. All right. So uh, hopefully we can be a little biased, uh, uh, unbiased. <laughs> it's going to be tough. I really hated my Myself in this in this trailer, <laughs> Chad. You look so serious. I don't like you serious. <laughs> it's Brandon. We'll never know. He can come no, up that's with true. anything. He's gonna be like, what the he's fuck's brutally this? honest sometimes. This fucking guy. He's gonna be like, fucking guy. Chad's never serious. <laughs> Get that smug look off your face, <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> I can be really serious sometimes. <laughs> you serious? Come on, come on can happen <laughs> someday <laughs> all right chad's first trailer is eddie the eagle and this is a story about great britain's first ski jumper in the end to enter the winter olympics go ahead chad what do you think oh that was the, 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 that was the synopsis <laughs> yes that was the short ass synopsis I was, I was waiting for a lot more than that nope that's all the synopsis there was the, the next one is very short as well and then the two after that are wicked long so go ahead um obviously i picked this one um i i enjoyed it uh I I love the uh, the true stories, you know, based on true story yeah. kind of movies. Obviously, they're not always true to the the actual stories. Yep. But uh, I mean, me and you both loved uh, Kingsman, and uh, we liked Taron uh, Taron Egerton. Egerton, yeah. yeah. Um, I I can't wait to see him in another role. Um, he looks like he's really good in this movie. Like he's showing his acting chops in this one. Oh, the old chops. <laughs> 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 bringing that back don't, don't don't hate on my word chops um and obviously uh ed jackman uh walkins in it um, christopher walken yeah, yeah. so um it, it should be a good movie i mean it's not gonna make a whole shitload of money and it's not gonna make star wars money but no and if, nothing will <laughs> i mean i i really dug this story i love taron Egerton. Mm. i i love hugh jackman yeah uh it's one of those stories that I think will have some real heart to it, mm -hmm. um, and it'll have some comedy too. It looks like they're yeah, going to take it's gonna be funny. his falling, you know, and all that his kind of stuff. When the glasses keep breaking and all that kind of stuff, looks like they're going to take that and make, bring some. He's going to break his it. neck. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but I love rooting for the underdog. Yeah, and I think most people do. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to have some, you know, great humor, but it's also going to give us kind of that Rudy feel, you know. Yeah. Kind of based on a true. I mean, Rudy wasn't as anywhere near as funny as I think this movie will be. But with Taron Egerton, Egerton and Hugh Jackman together and a little cameo, I don't know if how much uh, Christopher Walken's going to be yeah. in it, but those three guys in a movie that's kind of serious but at the same time humorous, I think it's going to be phenomenal. It could be a real surprise hit in 2016. I just want to talk about my favorite part. In the, it's uh, when uh, Hugh Jackman was sitting there and he goes, uh, now watch this video. This is the number one guy in the world. Yeah. <laughs> 
he takes a digger, man. Oh, he, <laughs> you're just watching that and you're like, oh, oh. He takes a digger and he goes, yeah, he's the number one guy in the world. <laughs> and he knows what he's doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that it was good. I, I did like that trailer. Yeah. Uh, my first trailer up is Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, starring Tina Fey mm -hmm. um, and Margot Robbie. I got to throw that one out there. A journalist, re this is another short synopsis by IMDb. A journalist recounts her wartime coverage in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Man, I'm all in on this. I am so in on this. This movie looks like it's not only going to be an, like, it's not going to be one of those over the top comedies that we've been kind of getting uh, with Tina Fey and stuff like that. Like, it's not going to be, you know, super kind of Pratt Folly or, you know, over the top, like her sister's movie mm -hmm. that she did with Amy Poehler. But this is going to have, like, some great laughs all while telling a good story. Mm. Um, and, and not like I'm saying, like, a deep story that you're going to be really emotionally attached to, but I think it's just going to have a good story that's going to flow well. And I loved several scenes in this. Margot Robbie kills this, as always. Mm -hmm. She's doing something a little different. It's gonna have kind of a little comedy. She has a little comedy, yep. like a uh, little in this. Like you're, here, you're like an eight, maybe a nine out of 10. She's mm -hmm. like, Tina Fey's like, what are you, a 15? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am so in on this. Tina Fey is awesome too. She looks great to be in this. And that scene at the end, with the driver, mm -hmm. she's like the first woman driver uh, ever to be in Pakistan or, or wherever she is, Afghanistan. Yeah. And the woman just backs into like a bunch of stuff, and she's like, "Oh, great, yeah, that's this, awesome. This thanks, that's, that's awesome. Not good, for us. good job for women. <laughs> yeah, thanks. That's awesome. Got this on film. Yeah, awesome. So, what did you what did you think of the trailer? Uh, when I first started watching it, I was like, when I saw the title, I thought it was going to be like a, a a war movie, like, mm -hmm. and, and it is. It is loosely based on a war war movie. And then she goes and takes a piss in the bushes. And it, yeah, and it started off. And I didn't even know Tina Fey was in it. Yeah. Like when I first turned it on, and uh, I, I wish I kind of had a reaction video to this one because <laughs> I started watching it and I'm like, is this, is this a comedy or like a real thing? Yeah. And um, you know, it's it just it, it, it's a weird movie for me. The trailer, like, because it's based on a true story, and it's it, it seems really weird to me, like, because it's like it looks like it could be serious in some parts, yeah. and then it gets really goofy. In Which some I think parts. is good for Tina Fey because we don't really get that from her a lot, like we did in um, This Is Where I Leave You. Which she was phenomenal in, yeah. Jason Bateman, phenomenal. Like, and I think this is going to be something very similar. Like, we're going to get some serious elements with also some really funny moments. It, 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 like I said, it just looks weird to me, but I, I'm I'll go see it. I I'm like really. I like Tina Fey. I'm really in. I, I'm in, I'm in on this one. I'm I'm on that side of the fence. With yeah, you. you just you kind of like leaning on it. No, no, no I'm, I'm over there with you. I'm ready to catch people that are not on on our side. But <laughs> All right. well, the next trailer up is Chad's trailer, Ice Age. Collision course. Mm. Scrat's epic pursuit of his elusive acorn catapults him outside of the Earth, where he accidentally sets off a series of cosmic events and transform a threatening uh, a threat to the planet. To save themselves from peril, Manny, Sid, Diego, and the rest of the herd leave their home and embark on a quest full of thrills and spills, highs and lows, laughter and adventure, while characters as well as new enemy, who is a brother to one of their old foes. All right, Chad. Ice Age. What is this? Ice Age 12? Five. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, uh, go ahead. Um, I'm not... Myself, I'm not wicked excited about this. Yep. Um, I saw... I actually saw this trailer um, before Peanuts, I think. And, um, oh, wow. I think it was maybe a shortened version of it, but um, I thought I was going to get more in this trailer uh, when I clicked on it and started watching it, and I thought I was going to get more of the other characters, and it was just Scat. Oh, who I love. Who doesn't like Scat? I mean, he's uh... he, he his stick is kind of getting a little old now. Yeah. Um, but it's for kids. Uh, I think it's going to be popular with the kids again. The kids like going to these movies, man. Like the little kids like like these kind of movies. There is, and it looked good. Like the actual like vis visuals and stuff. Like actually looked really good in it. So, mm -hmm. is it is it gonna be too much? Are you in? I'm 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 in, but not in the movie theater. Maybe I may take my nephew. All right. I haven't been in on these movies since Ice Age Two, mm. um, and even Ice Age Two, I wasn't really all that excited. I could have been done. I could have been done without it. Like I, I don't really. I didn't really need it. Mm. Um. It's not that they're bad movies. It's just like they're kind of forgettable. Yeah. Like they're not very good. They're not great. They're just there and they make money for the studio. So that's why they keep making them. But I don't 
I don't even, I can't even tell you if I've seen any of the movies after Ice Age 2. That's how forgettable they are. Like, And I know that I've seen stuff here and there, mm-hmm. but now we're getting Ice Age in space. Like, yeah. <laughs> like kind of at the beginning with Scrat and all that kind of stuff. Whatever. I mean, he is what it is. And I don't know. I mean, I kind of chuckled at the very end, you know, like with that whole little interaction with uh, Manny and, yep. you know, all them. I, 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 that was kind of funny, but... I'm I'm kind of over it. I, I don't I have no really interest in seeing this, especially in the theater. I mm. don't think my son hasn't really wanted to go see these movies. So yep. there's nothing really that kind of is gonna drag me out. So I, I don't know. I'm out. I'm yeah, out. Yeah, I'm this. out of the movie theater too. Like I said I, I might be out in general. Like I don't like I said, I don't know if I've seen I know I haven't seen four. I don't know which one is that Continental Drift or I, I don't, can't remember I, the name. I have no them. idea. Yeah. So I haven't I haven't seen that. So I don't I, I'm I'm out. I'm yeah. out on that. They all get around right around the 50 50 percent. They're all like rated the same, yeah. like in, on Rotten Tomatoes. But they're, they make money. They're so. all right around the the in between 45 and 60. I mean, maybe the first one made was a little bit better, but mm-hmm. yeah, they're they're just like middle of the road. Like it's Ice Age. It's just like one of those people are gonna go out and see them. I mean, hopefully not this time. <laughs> so they stop making them. I'm not gonna say that because I, come on, you tell me all the time not to say that. I'm like, don't go see this movie. You're like, no, you want them to come out and see these movies. I don't want this them to see this. This is a kids movie. It might come out at a good time where there's not that many, you know, kids cartoons out there. And hopefully, it'll come out in January when nothing else is out, and it'll get destroyed by Star Wars too. <laughs> Don't give me the evil eye, Kylo. I'm buying out theaters for this movie. (laughs) (laughs) All right, next trailer up is Storks. Mm. Storks deliver babies, or at least they used to. Now they deliver packages for global internet giant Cornerstone.com. Junior, the company's top delivery stork, is about to be promoted when he accidentally activates the baby-making machine, producing an adorable and wholly unauthorized baby girl desperate to deliver this bundle of trouble before the boss gets wise. Junior and his friend Tulip, the only human on Stork Mountain, races to make their first ever baby drop in a wild and revealing journey that could make more than one family whole and restore the stork's true mission in the world. All right. Hmm. I... Am in on this based on this trailer. It's a very short teaser trailer, but this trailer had me smiling from ear to ear. I mean, I really, really enjoyed this. I never really busted out laughing, but I was smiling the whole time. I love Kelsey Grammer. I love his voice in this. Um, and as much of a jerk that he is, I hear that he is behind the scenes. Um, you know, he's had a lot of issues with like alcohol and drugs and all that kind of stuff. But I loved him in the show Frasier. I loved him in X-Men as uh, Beast. And as far as a voice actor, I think that he's kind of fallen off. Like the rec- He's not as recognizable that he, as he used to be. So I think that he's going to be really good. He's gonna fit, this is going to fit him really well. And I'm looking forward to it a lot. I can't wait to see it. It, looked, it looks like it's going to be really cool. And I, I just the trailer does not give you what the synopsis does. This this just looks like this is what's gonna happen for them not to be in the baby making bu- or the baby making business anymore. So what do you think? What do you think about Storks? I'm the total opposite of you right now. I can't stand the guy. I can't <laughs> stand his voice. Um, I can't stand his show. Frasier was the stupidest show oh, on I love TV. It. it wasn't stupid. That's why it was smart. Yeah, exactly. It was over my head. Maybe I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't think this was a good trailer. Mm-hmm. Um, the the girl in the background had me laughing a little bit with the the old conveyor. It looked like it's gonna not gonna be that good. <laughs> it looks, <laughs> I don't know. It's just I like the same hopes. old the same old like conveyor joke. Like <laughs> Saved by the Bell did the same thing like in nineteen and it's still funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than Scrat. <laughs> in your opinion, um, I wasn't excited about this trailer at all. I'm out. All right. Mm. All right. Mm. We're going to move on to the next segment. Star Wars? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, we could, but no. The next segment is... It's time for Random Rants and Rave Reviews. Oh. Random Rants and Rave Reviews. All right. And very low in the background, you'll hear a little Christmas music. It's so low, we're gonna talk. It. We're going to be talking about some Christmas. Is that coming Christmas. up? Christmas. Is that coming up? It's very soon. I, I'm not exactly sure when. I'm, I'm going to see Star Wars like 14 more times. Like, like Chris, Christmas as in like uh, Dumb and Dumber? Like, no, Lloyd no, Christmas? not Lloyd Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. This is actually a holiday 
that I think is coming up very soon. All right, okay. And it's Christmas time, baby. Now that Star Wars, we've seen it a couple times, we can actually get in the holiday spirit. Yeah. So let's talk Christmas. Yeah. Krampus? Yeah. Krampus stuff? No, not Krampus. <laughs> We're going to talk some Christmas movies. All right. All right. Okay. Um, let's, let's just start off with like talking about some of our favorite Christmas movies. What are some of your favorite Christmas movies? We'll start off with you. We're we'll, we'll gonna go. Three. We go top back and back and forth here. Yeah, top you want to start at the bottom at three and go up to our favorites? No, uh, it doesn't have to be even in order. I'm gonna do mine in order. Well, then go ahead. That's how much prep I've done for this. Wow, I'm glad that you did some prep. <laughs> That's Once amazing. Once in a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I got the Christmas. You can, you can do it. I don't Christmas know if mine spirit. are going to necessarily be in, in order. But you can do it. Yeah, All maybe. right, so uh, number three mm-hmm. on my list yep. is uh, The Santa Claus with uh, Tim Allen. Oh, Love, love, love all those ones. Uh, we, me and my buddy Chris, have seen, had seen every single one in the theaters when mm-hmm. they come out. Um, the first one is obviously my favorite one, but yeah. I did enjoy the second one too, where they had the bad Santa come, and mm-hmm. it was. I, lo- I loved them all. They, I laugh at all of them. Uh, they're just cute movies, and they're good family movies. Anything and, with Tim Allen in it, I am watching. Well, no, not anything. Anything with I've, Tim Allen, I am watching. I've seen some. I bad, love Christmas with the Cranks. I loved it. I I've, loved, I've Tim seen Allen some bad amazing. Tim Allen movies. No, you have. There was one called Bully or something like that. You haven't seen a bad one. That was a bad. Galaxy Quest. Amazing. Tim Allen is. The bee's knees. <laughs> I love Tim. I Allen. love Home Brewing. Yeah, that's one great. of my favorite TV shows. Last of all Man time. Standing, which is on right now, is also awesome. He's on that too. Yeah, I haven't like, watched. He's the star. Yeah. yeah, he's actually had. Uh, oh, Last J- Man Standing. I thought you were talking about the Jonathan other one. Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Is that what his name was? Yeah. He's actually had him on the show. What was the other one with Wolf Forte? Last, Last Man on Earth, or whatever it's called. Nah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what yeah, it's yeah. Okay. I was. Yeah, like, I thought no, you were this talking is Last Man Standing. This is like it's in its like fifth or sixth season. All right, I'm gonna go with Santa Claus. Santa Claus for your first one. All right, for my. For my third, I'm going to actually, I'm bumping this up, way up. And I, I'm not sure that this will stick there because I do love the Santa Claus. I love Christmas with the Cranks. There's so many great Christmas movies. I'm going to go with The Night Before. That I just came out this year. I thought that movie was hysterical. Mm-hmm. And I loved the chemistry between the three guys. And yeah, that's going to be my, my number three on this list. I, I've got to see that, so you I can't to, really comment yeah, on it. I loved it. Yeah. I thought it was hilarious. I, that movie was the hardest I've laughed all year. I've, I've heard a lot of people love that movie. So. All right. So what's your, what's your number two? Number two, list? and Liz is going to punch me when I see her. <laughs> um, Elf. Yeah. Um, I, I, she had never seen Elf before mm-hmm. until this year. She came over to my house. We had a viewing party. Just me and her and my, my roommate. <laughs> me and my roommate were dying laughing the whole time. Yep. Not one smile from her at all. Not one. Not one single smile. So sad. She just looked at me and she goes, you wasted an hour and 40 minutes of my life. Wow. And she I, was I, brutal. I, did, I started crying almost. Like I'm like, really? Like, <laughs> who doesn't like Elf? And I actually posted it online. And there was like one other person that said, yeah, it's stupid, but yeah, it is going to be those critics out there. I mean, what I'm going to say more than less, more, 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 more people, people like Elf, yeah. like elf than yeah. hate Elf. Yeah. And Will Ferrell. Come on. Yeah, he's, Come he's on. great. So I, I'm going to actually go with you as well. I'm going to say Elf is number yeah. two on this list just because it epitomizes Christmas and how like it's Will Ferrell basically playing like a kid like in how their reaction is to Christmas. Mm. And that is what I love about the movie. And I think that he did a great job with it. I love him as Buddy. Mm -hmm. He's just, he's just, he does a great job. I love Zoe Deschanel in there. It's kind of like his, you know, counterpart in the movie. And just the whole story itself flows pretty well. Peter Dinklage is kind of like that bad guy. Hilarious. I like, I can't, I keep on forgetting his name, but the the bigger black guy that's the, uh, the owner of, like the, the manager of the, uh, the little Christmas section of the store. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. He's hilarious, too. <laughs> he just walks in. Yeah. He's like, who the hell did this? <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's funny. He's a, he's a good comedian. Yeah. He's been in a few movies here yep. and there. And, uh, but yeah, I like him. He's he's good, too. All right. So what's number one on your list? Ah, uh, Number one right here. Where is it? Nice. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Very the nice. original. Very nice. Claymation. Wonderful movie, yeah, awesome movie. It's a very good movie. Um, every character in it, I love. Um, I watch it every single year. I have it on Blu-ray right now. Um, it comes with like the because I liked all those like um, Santa Claus is coming to town, mm-hmm. um, Frosty the Snowman, all those old, school all those ones classics. Are great. But Rudolph, 
hands down the best one out of all of them. It's very good. Yeah. And it's a very good movie. I, I like that one a lot. I mean, there's a lot. I mean, The Grinch, the mm-hmm. original uh, yep. animated um, movie that they have. It's not, I mean, it's like, I don't know, it's probably about an hour. It's short. It's, short it's a one, short yeah. movie, but Charlie it's really Brown. good. You got Charlie Brown. Uh, Charlie Brown's Christmas. Christmas. There's a, I love, I actually really enjoy Jim Carrey's um, one as well. And there's so many good ones, like um, Scrooge. Yep. Um, you have the one that uh, uh, Patrick Stewart was in. I can't remember. Was that, yeah. What was that one called? I can't remember what it is, but that, it's also based on like the Scrooge. The, you get Jingle Scrooge. all the way. And this, there, there, I mean, that, <laughs> that, that's a, Christmas That's movie. not terrible. That it's funny. Terrible. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, there's so many good ones out there. But my number one of all time is has to be Vacation, Christmas the Christmas Carol. That's yeah, what it was go, for yeah. Patrick Stewart. Um, my favorite one of all time is. Christmas Vacation. Mm-hmm. That is my number one on this list. I love it so much. Which will now we're we're gonna go over and go to our least favorite. Yeah. What's your least favorite Christmas? For some movie reason, I think we're time? gonna have the same one here. Oh. I think, but it could, I could be dead wrong here. I, I gotta go with Bad Santa. Bad Santa because okay. that was terrible, yep. and I don't know why people liked it. It was just I got I literally laughed maybe once in that whole movie. Yeah, and it was just a terrible movie. It was a terrible Christmas movie. Mm-hmm. They, they, I don't know. I, I and I like that, Billy Bob Thornton. Bad Santa is one of those movies that I've always I since I watched it. I think I laughed twice throughout the whole yeah. movie, and I thought it was just so. I can understand why people like it. I can't, but. <laughs> I really disliked the movie. I didn't really care for Billy Bob's character. I don't like really like anything about that movie, and I've only watched it once because of that. Like I, I just I've can't once, get myself so. into seeing it again uh. because of how much I disliked it. And mm. I, it's one of those movies that I just wanted to kind of like I, I just wanted to turn off and walk away yeah. because I just didn't really like what it was about. I didn't care for it. But my least favorite is actually one of people one of m- most people's top three probably, and that's a Christmas Story. Oh man, I hate that movie with a passion that movie aggravates me so much i hate the tone of it i don't like the 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 you know you'll shoot your eye out that drives me up a wall it's like nails on a chalkboard the whole double dog dare triple dog dare all that stuff with the tongue I, i'm like that's so stupid the, ho 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 that, that it's like the creepiest fucking santa ever i hate I think that's so the point. much now there are some things that are like kind of cool about it which is like the the leg lamp like yeah, that's yeah whatever i love the he, dad he in that movie. the dad is probably the best part i and do the, like when the they little go kid see, i like the little no, kid. i don't like it no no no, no i don't i don't like a snow suit no, just, no, uh, no i don't i don't really that, there's i don't know what happened to me as a child but that just did not resonate with me and i have disliked that movie ever since and it's one of my best friends favorite christmas movies and he is like one of those people that will put it on loop he has the leg lamp yeah. he's you know he and he he every time i tell him that i hate that movie he's just like i can't believe that i think but, it's i think it's, I think it's my brother's my older brother's favorite christmas movie yeah uh, we we watch it for the uh because tbs it, tbs throws it on a loop for 20, 24, 24 hours, hours yeah. and we'll, we'll catch it every once you know, like i throw it on and bits and because i know other people it. like it but i hate it I loved it. I won't watch it. I, I'll, I'll look at it. I, I even chuckle every once in a while, but just there's certain parts in that just like, uh, yeah, The Chinese restaurant, you didn't like that, that? That's okay. The yeah. Chinese restaurant. You know, <laughs> rah, 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 like that is kind of funny, but that's because the dad is there and I, I like the dad. I don't like the kids. The kids drive me crazy. That whole, you know, you'll shoot your eye out and he Ralphie. shoots his eye out. The, 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 the person who does the, uh, like the the talking, the the monologue or whatever. That, the guy that's talking over everything. Oh my! I hate his voice. I oh, I, there's so much I dislike. I think he was a radio him. guy, wasn't he? Uh, I don't know. I think so. whatever. I think in the back I'm of the glad, day, I hope he was he's a fired radio now because I no, can't. Stand I think his he voice. was a really popular radio guy. Right. I think. Good for him. Uh, okay. I, I'm glad I didn't listen to his radio station. I can't get stand it out, Shane. Get it out. I can't stand that. Get movie it out. So much. And I'm gonna get so much hate for that because I do all the time. Whenever I talk about how much I hate that movie, everybody's like, "Are you kidding me? Nah, it's like I, the Christmas staple." Like, that's pretty crazy for me to hear it from you. Yeah. I mean, I I would much. I, I mean, Home Alone one and two so much better than that. There's so many movies that are so much better than that. But there's certain parts in that movie that just drive Move, me up a wall. Moving on. Let's go to. Uh, <laughs> we, 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 let's talk about our favorite characters now. Favorite Favorite characters, all right. In uh, in any Christmas movie, mm-hmm. it doesn't necessarily have to be your, your one of your favorite Christmas movies either. No, it does not. I, I, you want me to start off? Of yes, my, I do. All right, I'm going to do this off. in order too. I'm going to do the top two. All right. Um, my number two is Charlie Brown from A Christmas. Charlie Brown from It's a Christmas. Charlie Brown. Um, I feel so bad for him every time I see him. <laughs> He's like this good kid. 
Um, always he, getting shit on. Always <laughs> getting shit on by everybody. Uh, and mm. at the end, it always Especially turns Lucy. out. Yeah, yeah, it always turns out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it turns out good. I'm um, good for him, and mm-hmm. you know he gets this th- tiny little tree. He's all proud of it and mm-hmm. everything. He puts a little bulb on it, and <sighs> yeah, not, nothing but heartbreak for that kid. It's tough, and I, I like him. I like him. I, I, I would be his buddy <laughs> if I was friends with him. Like I would take him and just he would be on the show with me. He, yeah, yeah, he'd be my buddy. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Speaking of Buddy, that's going to be my second, my number two. <laughs> buddy the Elf. Good transition. I, I really liked him a lot in that movie. Like, I, I had, I've already gushed over him a little bit about just how he embodied, like, the whole child spirit of Christmas. And, and it almost kind of makes you feel like how much you love Christmas and how much you loved it as a kid. When I have, now that I have kids and celebrating with them, just the whole thing, it just really helps. It's kind of like, you can almost relate to them now. And you're like, I, you know what? I can still feel like that mm. about Christmas. Christmas is awesome. Like, why not? Mm. And you just kind of burst at the seams. And that's what I loved about that movie. And I thought that he did such a great job doing it and turned everybody out around, got him everybody happy. Yeah. It's just, it's it's a really, it's a yeah. really fun He's movie. He's a good character. He did a great job. Definitely a good character. What's your number one? Number one, Ralphie from Christmas Story. Fuck that guy. Uh, Fuck him. He is... <laughs> I, I can't see how you could say he's horrible. I hate him. He, he comes down in that bunny suit. That is an glad I, he shot his eye out. Iconic <laughs> scene right there when he comes down in that bunny suit that uh, his aunt made for him, uh, and he's just like moping around. And come on, I don't want to wear this. And I, he's a great character. Um, Ralphie, try, stop being such a try, douche. Your father to, has a leg lamp. He's try, awesome. Trying to help his dad with the the fixing of the tire. He yeah. knocks over all the bolts. He's like. Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> but it wasn't that that effort. No, I've said that other one a few times about this movie. <laughs> he, uh, he, to me, he's the best character in any in any Christmas movie. Um, he just he's very iconic. Like everybody knows Ralphie. Everybody knows Ralphie, and everybody loves Ralphie except for you, I guess. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Fucking. You're part of that one percent, dude. <laughs> I'm okay with that. My favorite character is Clark Griswold, mm. and that is from yeah. like, Christmas Vacation. Mm. I love him. I Great. love his – he tries so hard to give his family everything, like all this fun, and it always just – shit always just happens to him. It's like he's like the a, a better version of Charlie Brown yeah. um, because like yeah. he just tries over and over, and he's hilarious. Yeah. His comedy timing, so damn good at his delivery. And I just love his how 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 much he really wants yeah. his family to have like the ultimate Christmas. Mm-hmm. He has like those moments in the attic when he's locked up there, mm-hmm. and he's watching the home videos, and he's just like, oh, you know. And then all the and he fu- uh, fucking of course he falls through the wall because they finally, you know, let yeah. down the uh, the little escape hatch there. And it's just shit always happens to him, and he just wants to have a good time for yeah, his family. That's all he wants. He just and tries he and tries, and everybody, everybody just doesn't. And his family doesn't care. Yeah. They're just like, I don't give a <laughs> shit that you want us like have all this. But at the end, they all come together yep. because you know, you know, they really do appreciate his yeah. his hard work and effort for that. But I love, I love Clark as well. You threw me off by that because I, I thought for one strange reason, I thought Ernest was going to be one of your favorite Fuck characters him too. <laughs> I don't, I, you know, Ernest. Ernest I guess, saves I, Christmas, he, man. Yeah, he's he's all right. I if mean, it wasn't I, for Ernest, we wouldn't have Christmas right now. He saves it. <laughs> moving on. Yes, um, moving on to our our, our our favorite villains. Villains, yes, the the, the Christmas um, villains. My number two actually lines up with my number two from the other uh, from my favorite characters, and I'm gonna go with Lucy Van Pelt. Ah, uh, she is throws out the last name she too. She is evil, like she very is. evil to Charlie Brown. Yeah. Everything Charlie Brown does, she totally knocks him down. She's for a total it. antagonist in that. Yeah. Total. total. <laughs> I don't even know what but the she, end of these you movies. Can, you know that she likes him though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has like a secret like crush on yeah. him or something. But man, she is so terrible towards him, and th- nobody. I've never seen in any movie somebody so terrible towards somebody. <laughs> well, I've seen somebody pretty terrible, and that person is the Grinch. Yeah. I love the Grinch, and I love it because it's another one of those Christmas night kind of stories where mm-hmm. he starts off being all mean and rude and everything, and at the end, he grows his heart, grows three times, mm-hmm. and just you know, every if you don't get chills and like a, a little a, emotion when that happens, there's something wrong with you. No, uh, you're going with the Grinch from the original, right? Yeah, either one. I, I like both. I like both. I like. If you Jim had to Harris, pick one. Pick I'm one. just picking the character, the Grinch. Pick one. 
I'll go with the original. The yeah, original. I, I see. I wasn't a big fan of Jim Carrey and the Grinch. I loved it. I loved it. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It was just kind of like I can watch it if it comes on, but it's nothing that sticks in my head. All, all right, right so, we only have a couple more minutes. So, all right, so number one, yeah. number one, I'm gonna go with uh, Harry and Merv from uh, Home Alone. Joe Pesci oh, nice. and Daniel That's Stern. A good one. That's a good Those one. two bumbling idiots, man. Yeah. They they get hit with paint cans. They get destroyed by a little kid. I thought it was great seeing Did Joe... Did you see Macaulay Culkin come out with it? I didn't little... watch it. Nah. He came out with a YouTube video recently, and it's like how he turned out because of all that. Yep. Like he, he, He's in the car, and he's just sitting there. He's like, my parents left me on home, like uh, on Christmas, and you know they just left me alone. They didn't even know that I was gone and all that kind of stuff. They just left me alone, and I was getting attacked by these two terrorists and all that kind of stuff. And it just shows how his mind went later on. If You, you should watch it. Check it out. I, I, I a just dark. Li- I just like watching <laughs> Joe Pesci coming coming from uh, the good fella, good uh, good fellas. Oh, into this, yeah. Uh, you know, three hundred and something f words dropped in that in mm-hmm. that movie, and then he comes and does this, you know, kids movie. I, I, I it shows the, the the wide range of his acting ability. I, I love Joe Pesci. He's great. Yeah, he's in in the in this in this movie. They were great too. Both of them were. Yeah. I mean, David Stern, Daniel Stern is kind of hit or miss with me, but. Yeah. In this movie, they he's were good. Great. He's yeah. good. They they played well off each other. Yeah. I uh, my favorite villain of all time, Hans Gruber from Die Hard. That's right, baby. That is the yeah. all time, and I. That's one of those movies that could have snuck into my top three, mm-hmm. but it's it's definitely in the top ten. I mean, there's so many good Christmas movies out there, but Hans Gruber has to be the greatest Christmas villain of Man. all time because there is nothing good about him. No, whatsoever. Nothing. He is truly a villain, mm. and you know. John McClane then takes care of business, mm-hmm. taking care of him. I love that. That's a, that's a, he's a, he's he is my number one villain of all time. That has to be it. So, so I don't, I don't know if you have anything else. I got two quick two more quick. I things. have to leave here in five minutes. All right, so I got two quick more. Okay, I, I enjoyed doing that last thing that we did with you, where I named actors and, oh, right. and actors. And uh, I came up with 10 more. Oh, shit. And uh, just remember, this is off the top of your head. Like, mm-hmm. first thing that pops in your head. Uh, we're going to start with uh, Ben Affleck. So, oh, am I just naming movies now? Just M- name a movie that he was in. The right, first one that came in. Right. Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck. Um, Jersey Girl. All right. <laughs> Will Ferrell. Elf. All right. Uh, Adam Sandberg. Um, that's my boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Susan Sarandon. Um, the movie I uh, feel the dreams. No, that's not. No, it's uh. Oh my god, I can't. The uh, uh, I can't remember the name of the movie, but it's in the head. It's with Tim Robbins, Kevin Costner. Uh, you know what? That's not Feel the Dreams. Feel the Dreams is the one with Kevin Costner and uh, James Earl Jones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what the hell is it called? Uh. Everybody knows what movie I'm talking about. Yeah, they, I they can't have, remember the name of I it either. I can't remember the name of it. It's driving me crazy. It's a great b- baseball movie. Bull Durham? Bull Durham. That's yeah, what it is. Go. Yes, yeah. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that took us a while. Yeah. <laughs> All right. A little bit quicker on this one. Yeah. <laughs> Justin Long. Justin Long. Um, accepted. Um, Billy Bob Thornton. Fucking bad Santa. That douche. Clive Owens. Clive Owen. Oh my lord, that's a fucking. I can't even think of something that he's been in off the top of my head. That's that. I. No. That's not, he's forgettable. Richard Gere. <laughs> Richard Gere. Um, Pretty Woman. Denzel Washington. Uh, good lord. Uh, I'll do it with your, <laughs> the Titans. There's so many. It's just like. <laughs> remember the Titans. I'm gonna end with Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. Oh man, Tom Hanks. There's so many great things about Tom Hanks. It, it's supposed to be the first movie that comes into your head. All right, I'll uh, Forrest Gump, Forrest which Gump. isn't even his greatest. It's not even close to his greatest performance. But and, and speaking of Tom Hanks, just go back to Christmas. Polar Express is still one of That's my favorite. That's phenomenal. Yeah, yeah one of my favorite movie. Christmas movies. I, I I just wanted to throw that out there. Catch me if it. you can't. There's so many great movies. Watching, He's, they're like, why didn't they exp- Saving you know, Mr. Why, Banks? He was awesome they, in. Why didn't they, you know, mention Polar Express? Captain Phillips. Yeah. So many great ones. Um, and my my last one is uh, my last uh, little thing is uh, I did want to mention our fantasy league. Uh, we had a winner. Oh, and we forgot to announce it last. Yeah, yeah. Last episode, um, it was uh, who, who was it now? Oh, Pen- uh, um, <laughs> Penetron's fantasy playground. Yeah, Penetron. Is that Josh Hearn? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to think of the his uh, fantasy name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Josh Hearn. Um, I already got his address. I'm gonna Excellent. Be sending out a uh, a box. Take some him. freaking pictures, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna. T- I already told him take pictures, take a video yeah. of opening it, a reaction video. Uh, send we want it an to unboxing. Us. <laughs> unboxing. Uh, we will put it on the podcast. Yes. Um, 
we just want to show what we bring to the table. And uh, I'm I, looking forward. To, I don't even know what's in it. No, I'm you don't know. I, I put this all together, and uh, I dropped a little bit of money on it. So nice. Uh, he's gonna. I think he's gonna be happy with what he gets. I and, can't wait to see this. Yeah. I, I'm. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I, I I'm really looking forward to. Seeing I mean, we this. brought the I brought the heat on my birthday party, man. The, we had the yeah. contest for the T-shirt contest, uh -huh. and my buddy won it, and he got some good prizes out he of it. Yeah, and he got a photo of us. He got a photo, <laughs> autographed photo of us. I mean, Josh might not be that lucky, <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. And um, on and top that of was that, way back when we only had like 70 subscribers. Now we're up to 123. Yeah. So now, so now, <laughs> uh, the, the new season has started, but we didn't do it this season. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start promoting. We're gonna start promoting for the next season. Yeah. Um, and we want more people in it. Uh, I'm gonna do a different kind of contest. And this will show you why you need to be signing up for this. Exactly. Yeah. Chadwick is is I'm, tossing some dollar bills I'm, at this. I'm bringing some bringing some it's money to this. Rain on these people that win. And the one rule that are, uh, for the new season, I'm gonna I'm gonna if you beat us, if you beat us, mm. even if you don't come in first place, you're gonna get a free movie ticket. If I if I remembered to. To play the yeah. last weekend, I would have would have won. <laughs> uh, you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna get two movie tickets from from me. If you just be, you gotta beat both of us though. You no, so can't beat one just, of us. If they just beat, beat us, us, you're gonna get, get a two movie. Tickets. You're gonna get two movie tickets. And two. then, but number one, number one is top, gonna get the prize. Is it just number one? Just number one. So so it's like say we finish fifth. That means like I'm fifth and you're sixth. Then you have fourth, third, and second all get movie tickets. All get and movie then number tickets. One and number gets one the gets the box. blockbuster prize. Yes. All right. Excellent. Yes. I like yeah. that. Yeah. That's good. So, yeah, let's we'll get more people in this. I want to get this going. and Awesome. Get some famous people in this thing. Uh, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> Sending shit to Mark Hamill. <laughs> I know we're buds and everything now. <laughs> yeah. He did. He did what? Uh, a favorite one of your. Uh, he your... favored in one of my tweets. Yeah. There you yes. go. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we're going to sign off here. Where can people find you? Uh, find me on Instagram. You can find me on Twitter. And you can find me on Facebook. All at the same places. Uh, DJ Dizzle 82. Excellent. You can find me everywhere at the Center Bros. That's Center Bros on Facebook. Center Bros on YouTube. Center, uh, no, no, Center Bros on uh, Instagram and Twitter, all that kind of stuff you can find uh, on, on YouTube or the Movie House Maniacs, which is youtube.com slash the Movie House Maniacs. And uh, yeah, we'll be coming back tomorrow with our spoiler review mm. of Star Wars, which would be fun. And uh, in the meantime, we hope you guys had a good time watching this show. And we will see you guys. Oh, and a special thanks to my brother who did the camera today. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, thank brother. You. Thank you very much. Um, and we will uh, see you guys at the end of the movie soon. Peace. Peace out. If you watch the show on YouTube, please click that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.